Hello everyone, welcome to today's Blockchain Daily News. Today is May 3rd, 2024. Zhao Changpeng was sentenced to four months in prison. More details revealed. What is the impact on the cryptocurrency market? Is the Binance crisis over? On April 30th, local time, Binance founder and former chief executive officer, CEO, Changpeng Zhao was sentenced to four months in prison for failing to prevent money laundering on the exchange, becoming the second boss in the cryptocurrency field to be sentenced to prison. U.S. District Judge Richard Jones in Seattle announced the sentence in a packed courtroom. The sentence imposed by the judge was shorter than the three-year sentence proposed by the U.S. Department of Justice on April 23rd and lower than the maximum 18-month sentence recommended by federal sentencing guidelines. Regarding the impact that this incident may have on the entire cryptocurrency industry, trading platforms may face more stringent regulatory review and compliance requirements and will need to increase investment to ensure compliance with relevant laws and regulations. Is Binance crisis over? Judging from the current situation, the charges filed against it by the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, have not yet been concluded. After admitting his mistakes sincerely, Zhao Changpeng was finally sentenced to four months in prison. In a federal courtroom in Seattle, Changpeng Zhao stood in the dock with his hands folded on the table as a federal prosecutor asked that he be sentenced to three years in prison, which is twice the maximum sentence for the crimes he pleaded guilty to under federal sentencing guidelines. The sentence needs to reflect the seriousness of Zhao Changpeng's crimes. Prosecutors said that due to the lack of supervision, Binance, the world's largest cryptocurrency exchange, can be abused to fund terrorists and cyber criminals. I fully realized the seriousness of the mistakes I made. Zhao, 47, said in court. I learned valuable lessons from it. Last year, Binance admitted to participating in suspected money laundering, unlicensed remittances and sanctions violations, and agreed to pay a fine of approximately $4.3 billion. At the same time, Changpeng Zhao admitted that he failed to maintain an effective anti-money laundering program and resigned as CEO of Binance. This attitude of admitting his mistake was recognized by the judge, and he was eventually sentenced to four months in prison. According to the technology website PeakWire, Judge Jones stated in court that Binance's specific violations of the Federal Bank Secrecy Act were unprecedented in terms of number, size, and scale, and that it essentially turned a blind eye to potential terrorist financing and drug trafficking. But he said that Zhao Changpeng showed an extraordinary sense of responsibility and recognized his dedication to participating in charity and helping others. Judge Jones said he carefully read the 160 petition letters submitted to the court before passing sentence. On April 24, the day after the U.S. Department of Justice's sentencing recommendation was released, Chan Peng Zhao issued a signed letter of apology, not only apologizing for his past poor decisions, but also saying that he would take all responsibilities. Regarding the failure to establish necessary compliance measures to supervise Binance in the past, he claimed to be willing to admit all mistakes, but at the same time said, Binance has implemented the most stringent anti-money laundering controls among all non-US exchanges since 2022. At the same time, Chang Peng Zhao's family, friends, business figures, and Binance users also sent a petition letter to the presiding judge of the Western District of Washington, hoping that the judge could understand the real Zhao Chang Peng and give a lighter sentence when sentencing. In the eyes of his family, colleagues, and friends, Zhao Changpeng knew nothing about jewelry, luxury goods, luxury cars, and art auctions that the rich were keen on. He lived a simple life, but he was upright and kind. He was always strict with himself and lenient towards others, and he was extremely rich sense of social responsibility. The reporter also tried to contact two petitioners who had worked with Zhao Changpeng. But both of them declined the interview request on the grounds that it is not convenient to be interviewed and the company has regulations that prohibit interviews. However, the judge also expressed deep concern in court about the evidence that Chang Peng Zhao had previously promoted within Binance that in terms of complying with the law, he would rather apologize afterwards than seek permission in advance. He told Chang Peng Zhao, it is the responsibility to abide by the U.S. All regulations, not just parts. Regarding this sentence, which is lower than the federal sentencing guidelines, an unnamed law firm partner said, the U.S. Attorney General is also the Attorney General and has the power to change it. 
When the sentencing recommendation can be raised or lowered, freedom the discretion rests with the individual prosecutor. With the announcement of the verdict, Chong Peng Zhao also became the second boss in the cryptocurrency field to be sentenced to prison. On March 28, U.S. Federal District Judge Louis A. Kaplan sentenced Sam Bankman-Fried in Manhattan Federal Court on seven counts of conspiracy to defraud and conspiracy to launder money at the FTX exchange. He was eventually sentenced to 25 years in prison and had more than $11 billion in assets confiscated. The above-mentioned unnamed law firm partner emphasized to reporters, digital currency pursues decentralization and borderless flow of capital. However, under the current international system, no matter which big country it is, especially the United States as a hegemonic country, we will never tolerate the existence of decentralized currencies that endanger our currency status for a long time. As a highly controversial gray area in the world, the natural characteristics of the cryptocurrency field that are difficult to regulate leave room for smuggling, money laundering and drug trafficking, and there is a natural conflict with sovereign currencies. The lighter-than-expected sentence sparked a backlash in the cryptocurrency community and disappointed some groups that have long been concerned about criminals circumventing the law. Dennis Kelleher, co-founder and CEO of the independent non-profit organization Better Markets, said in a statement that sentencing Zhao Changpeng to four months in prison is a serious judicial error and sends a completely wrong signal to criminals around the world. According to the U.S. Department of Justice, the reason why Binance has grown so quickly is because Binance relies on the Wild West model in its operations. Telling criminals, come to Binance, we've got the cake for you, as one compliance department employee put it, quickly became a giant among cryptocurrency exchanges, the US Department of Justice said in its sentencing recommendation. So wrote, if we turn the clock back to the beginning of Binance establishment, we can see that the company has indeed embarked on a hot wheel of development. In July 2017, Binance was officially established. Just two months later, Bitcoin started to soar. By December of that year, the price of Bitcoin had soared from $3,000 per coin to $20,000 per coin. Binance, the number of registered users, has also exceeded 1 million. In the first quarter of 2018, Binance achieved a profit of 200 million US dollars, becoming the world's largest cryptocurrency exchange and shocking the financial circle. According to foreign media reports, Chong Peng Zhao has been determined to build Binance into the world's largest cryptocurrency exchange since the beginning of his business. He attaches great importance to the daily transaction speed of the platform. He once set internal indicators to ensure that Binance users can complete the transaction within 10 minutes. Transaction. In his 15 personal principles, CZ principles, he also wrote, time is a more limited resource than money. Don't waste time when you start to cherish time. Move com. Crypto slate data shows that by 2021, Binance quarterly revenue began to grow exponentially and maintained growth throughout the year. By 2022, the company's annual revenue will reach approximately $12 billion. People who switched from investment banks to cryptocurrency exchanges in 2021 described the grand situation of the entire cryptocurrency industry at that time. From June 2021 to the end of that year, Bitcoin experienced the heyday of another bull market. I basically worked all day, contacted customers, etc., and slept less than 8 hours a day. How I felt during that period, yes. I started working as soon as I opened my eyes, and it was already 1 or 2 in the morning when I closed my eyes. Binance's explosive growth has also made Chang Peng Zhao's work sore. In February 2018, Forbes released its first rich list in the digital currency field. Chang Peng Zhao ranked third, with a net worth estimated at 1.1 billion US dollars to 2 billion US dollars. He was the only Chinese in the top 10 and appeared on the cover of Forbes magazine. At the end of 2021, Zhao Changpeng became the richest man in China with a net worth of 94.1 billion US dollars, and at the same time became one of the top 10 richest people in the world. He left Zhao Sui Sui, chairman of Nungfu Spring, who originally topped the list, behind him and reached the pinnacle of his career. As a newcomer in the industry at that time, I also enjoyed this wave of dividends. After joining the cryptocurrency exchange, my salary was paid directly with virtual currency. In addition, the market was very good at that time. 
it is conservatively estimated to be five times or even eight times the previous investment bank income. As countries tightened regulations on the cryptocurrency market, Bitcoin took a sharp turn in 2022, plummeting from 64,000 points to 16,000 points in just one year. Zhao Chongqing's wealth also shrunk significantly. According to Forbes data, by the end of 2022, Zhao Chongqing's net assets had dropped by 93.07% compared with March 2022, shrinking to 4.5 billion US dollars. What is the impact on the US cryptocurrency market? Is the Binance crisis over? From being the richest man in China to becoming a prisoner in a US court, what impact will Changpeng Zhao's find incident have on the cryptocurrency industry? From the perspective of market confidence and investor sentiment, the penalty incident will exacerbate market panic and uncertainty. Trading platforms may face more stringent regulatory review and compliance requirements and will need to invest more to ensure compliance with relevant laws and regulations. After supervision, the reputation and business operations of new platforms will be more cautious, causing users to shift from churn to return. However, just in early January this year, the US Securities and Exchange Commission also approved a Bitcoin spot ETF, allowing ordinary investors to buy and sell Bitcoin as easily as stocks and mutual funds. Does this mean that the US government's attitude towards the cryptocurrency market has also changed? The US government has a dialectical attitude towards cryptocurrency and blockchain technology. On the one hand, it recognizes its innovation potential and its role in promoting economic development. Some government departments are exploring how to incorporate cryptocurrency into the regulatory system and promote its legal and compliant development. This reflects the government's open and inclusive attitude to a certain extent and its willingness to promote financial innovation with the help of emerging technologies. On the other hand, the government also adopts a cautious attitude towards the cryptocurrency market due to its complexity and potential risks. Supervise exchanges and severely punish illegal activities to strive to maintain the stability and order of the financial market, protect the rights and interests of investors, and prevent systemic risks. The market leader said that these two attitudes are not contradictory, but a trade-off and balance. While supporting new technology innovation, the government pays more attention to preventing the risks it brings. The severe punishment of the Binance Zhao Chongpeng case embodies the latter, demonstrating the government's firm attitude in maintaining financial order and preventing risks. On the one hand, the encrypted digital currency market can be allowed to exist in the United States, but on the other hand, it faces legal supervision and severe sanctions. The Zhao Changpeng incident is just a cat and mouse game. The encrypted digital currency market itself is decentralized and difficult to the characteristics of regulation, and the nature of speculation will not change because of a penalty. Since the United States recognizes the survival of encrypted digital currencies, this interdependent relationship will always continue. Is Binance crisis over? Judging from the current situation, the charges filed against it by the US Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, have not yet been concluded. In June last year, the SEC filed 13 charges against Binance and its founder Changpeng Zhao, including operating unregistered exchanges, broker dealers, and clearing agencies, providing false trading control and supervision statements on the Binance.us platform, failing to register the offer and sale of securities, etc. The bosses of other blockchain exchanges are waiting for their respective fates. Let us wait and see. I'm your digital host, Amy. The headline we're focusing on today is... Alright, that's all for today's blockchain news headlines. I am a digital persona created entirely by artificial intelligence. If you enjoy my program, please like, subscribe, and share my video with your friends. AI GPU is AI technology that everyone can truly use. See you tomorrow.